visual cues. So, you're sitting out there throwing, are you working on the right things? Where do you put your left hand, your right hand, your sweep leg, your block leg? What's a really good, simple thing to add into your training to help you put all those things together to focus on the right things? We're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation, and in today's video, what we're going to talk about is visual cues. One of the things, if you look through our videos, and we're trying to help more people understand the sport, and a lot of times we get in the ring and we just throw. And one of the things we talk about constantly is throwing is critical, and you do need to throw a lot. Throwing is unnatural. The positions, how we move out of the back of the ring, all the things we're coordinating. These things take years and years to develop. It's super critical to understand that if you just get in and throw, the results are typically going to be limited. One of the things that we do want to do when we throw is we want to start thinking about visual cues. And so today what I have is set up and you'll notice I'll have my clock down and you're going to notice my red cones basically represent my core positions on the clock. 12 o'clock, so what we refer to as pillar one and two, they start here in this position, in this location. So one, two, 12 o'clock represents pillar one, two. But then we have our nine o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock. And so we have these small cone sets. And what we do is we want the clock marked out with the red cones, and then we want the colored cones to represent visual cues. So if we're gonna be working on the sweep leg position, so here's an example, we have our sweep leg. And again, some people say to sweep out here. We always have advocated sweeping out and so we're getting the sweep leg to go wider, longer. Again, a chain reaction. If we set a longer path, we're gonna have a longer path through the throw. If we start a little bit shorter rotational path, we're gonna have a shorter rotational path. So the idea here is to have cues. So we would, where would we put our left hand and our sweep leg? And one of the things is like, here's a green cone. We want a visual cue for where do we want the entry arm as we come around? We wanna be careful, we see a lot of kids cutting in. We want to see that hand coming out over that cone first before we open up the left aggressively into the ring. The blue cone is a good cue. Like you said, we're looking at a visual cone is where are we turning and where are we pointing our feet in what direction are we moving and, and how are we sprinting across the circle. Old John Powell videos, right, would have the inverted seven and that's a good cue. We want to be driving kind of down that left sector line, but oftentimes positioning a cone, a visual cue on where we're going to put our knee or our arm or our sweep leg. These are the sorts of things. When we want to get our throwers to understand how we're going to enter in and where do we push the foot, we can put a cone inside and let's say we want to have our athlete turning our knee to this direction so we can feel that kind of loading motion into the ring. So again, just a really simple video to help a lot of you guys out there. If you're looking to add something cheap and kind of good and a visual cue into your workouts, click the link below. We've got some information on how you can grab a cheap set, these things. Okay, so basically the point of today's video was to really help you guys understand that visual cues are super important to help you put together your throwing. Again, where's your sweep leg? Where's your arm? That's why this sport is tends to be complex. Once you learn the system, that's the whole point of the throwing chain reaction system. We're trying to help you have that vision to see the throw so much faster, see those two seconds, learn what you to do. The six pillars show you what to do at every stage of the throw and pillar connection again is putting that together and our system breaks it all down so that you see it quickly and can apply it and learn faster and then when you add coaching elements into your program like this visual cues to help you see and understand positions where's the left knee where's the sweep leg again entry leg block arm where all these sorts of things the visual cues are a really simple easy tip to add in mix up your training try the visual cues if you'd like any information on cones check out the link below if you'd like any information on the throwing chain reaction system help you learn the throw faster simplify that complexity links below as well thanks so much for watching guys and if you like this video find it helpful comment below and be be sure to hit that subscribe notification button and we will see you on the next video. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation and in this video we're going to talk about real quick our, the use of our drill cones for training. Now this was just something that...